Make the moon and Venus habitable. All right, let's begin with the moon. First, we create an atmosphere for it. It's looking promising. Then, we add nitrogen and oxygen to make it similar to Earth and a magnetic field to shield it from the sun so it doesn't get damaged. Next, we pour in some oceans. Great. Finally, we adjust the gravity to match Earth. Now we can see life starting to emerge at 1%, and it continues to grow. The moon is now partially livable. It seems like the moon could become our new home. Now, let's terraform Venus. First, we need to correct the pressure, bringing it down to one atmosphere. The main problem is that Venus has too much carbon dioxide, so we lower it to 0.004%, nitrogen to 78%, and oxygen to 21%. Next, we add water, and there it is. Oceans are forming, and land is appearing. It's beginning to resemble Earth. Fast forward a few years, Venus finally starts cooling down, with the temperature adjusted to a comfortable 15 degrees Celsius. And look, ice caps appear at the poles. Now we fix its extreme rotation, setting a 24-hour day. And boom, Venus is now 86% Earth-like. Life is even beginning at 0.004%. Yes, that's definitely good. But Venus is still outside the habitable zone. No matter what we do, it remains a hostile place for life.